Dom Studios just released episode 18 of Skibbity Toilet Multiverse. Titan Caraman comes back with completely new upgraded weapons. With so many weapons on Titan Caraman, I think we should call him Titan Gunman at this point. This episode has everything, guys. It has large scale battles and creepy toilets. And this episode also makes the first appearance of the Pennywise toilet. I don't know about you guys, but it was my favorite horror movie. And this episode makes me really excited. Make sure you guys follow Dom Studios. I'll link it in the description box below. We're almost at 800,000 subscribers on my channel, so guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And come join the Discord, guys, and help me stay up to date on all Skibbity Toilet information and new videos. Thank you guys so much for your help. Let's start the react. Skibbity Toilet Multiverse Episode 18. This is almost three minutes long. Here we go, guys. I need backup. They need backup. Wait, what did I say? This is starting off like a crazy action movie, guys. Message from Drillman. Need backup. Okay. Drillman needs help. Is it Titan Drillman or just a regular Drillman? Oh! Oh, you were parachuting in! Look at the anti air guns! That's pretty realistic. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, no! But he's down! He's down! Get him up! Whoa! Oh, 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 minigun. Minigun toilet. Wait, what's that? Is that clown toilet? <laughs> what? What is that thing? No, bro, don't clap, don't clap. Whoa! What? Those are like farm tools. It's like a harvester. What do we call those things? Bro, he's demolishing the whole base. Yes! Titan Caravan. Oh my god. It's Titan Gunboat. At this point, man. Look at all the weapons Titan Caravan has. You should call him Titan Gunship. Oh my god. It's raining blood. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Wait, what is that? So, so have a, wait. Secret. Something secret. It's going down the bunker. Titan Caravan got a message. He's out of the way. He's going. He's leaving. Wait, whose hat is that? We're at the circus? Scientist toilet. What the heck is this thing? Pennywise? That's my favorite horror movie. I love it. The remake. It's so well done. This is creepy! Oh man, I love this. This is so well done. Thank you, Tom, for another amazing episode. Um, right now, guys, I'm gonna go watch the episode 18 analysis. But first, I want to see what they're what were they putting underground there? Yeah, so it looks like they were. I don't know what's under there, guys. Let me know in chat what you guys think this is. Let's go take a look at the analysis by Elite Clockwoman, guys. Here we go. Elite Clockwoman here. Hello, Elite Clockwoman. The Clock 18th episode was released not long ago. And have I already told you that this episode is the best of all? It, is, it was really me, good. Every new episode. This episode. The best of the. Yes, I agree. They, they keep on getting better and better. But this episode to me, it felt like a lot of fun th than just like seriousness. I think Dom Studios are having are having fun with these animations. You you can tell. The best. Dom Studio very carefully combined war, funny moments, and also very mysterious moments. That's right. And this episode was crazy, and we had a lot of questions such as. What place did we see at the end of the episode? Where did the cameraman Titan fly away? What is the plan of the Skibidi scientist? And what will happen next? And today, I will try to answer all these questions. Okay. But before we start, I can't don't wait. forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new cool videos. Yes, guys, don't forget to subscribe to Elite Clockwoman and my channel as well. I'll put all the links down in the description box below.
Let's get into this. And here we go. The episode begins immediately with a war of agents against the toilets. We see how our cameraman controls a machine gun and successfully destroys his enemies. Also nice. here we see the cameraman's ship and toilets on rockets. Oh yeah. And when the camera turns, we see a blue screen and message an ordinary Message from cameraman. Drillman need backup. And on the screen, we see that the message came from the Drillman. Need backup. All the Drillmen are just Titan Drillmen. that the situation is critical and the Drillmen urgently need help to protect their base. But suddenly, a Skibidi kamikaze crashed into the cameraman ship, oh. and then another kamikaze already crashed into the ship with Yeah, th th those kamikazes, they're cameraman. just riding rockets. On the rocket. they're, st they're not even planes at that point, they're just toilets on top of rockets. It, we can see the inscription, open here in arrows, which means that it is in this place that the rocket can be opened and possibly neutralize it. And after the rocket hit the ship, we hear emergency sounds. We also see the inscription on the screen. Oh, no I missed signal, that. Which no means that all the devices okay, of the ship are broken and we need to get out of here. Also at this moment, we noticed how another cameraman was thrown oh, no. out of the ship, but he had a parachute and I hope that he hopefully, landed successfully. Hopefully. The cameraman also jumped out of the ship. I don't know if I don't know if he made it. I don't I didn't see him. And the same scene that was in the leaked video begins. Here we see that Look everything is on fire and a brutal war is going on. Look at we those, see Look at those anti-air guns, man. Those anti- that's, that's actually pretty realistic how the tracers look like on anti-air guns. ...rockets, also skibidi saws, and also a lot of other toilets. It's and really cool cameraman looking. was lucky to land on the ground. And we see how a large cameraman runs and immediately gives us a weapon. Yo, and bazooka. The camera turns, or and rocket launcher. a large army of toilets, as well as several cameramen and drillmen. And a drillman behind a machine it's gun. It's a big war. And here, we see the inscription, Drill Base. Drill Which base. Oh, this the is the drill base. Okay. That this is the base of the drill men. Also, look carefully at this cameraman. It seems to me that he no longer cares how this battle ends. Perhaps he has already surrendered, or he lost his friend. Oh man! Since here we can notice the body. He's seen some. He's seen some stuff, man. He's he's gone through it. That, that cameraman. cameraman. And perhaps they were friends. Oh. And this cameraman is in despair. This oh. drill man also stopped to look at his watch. Poor Perhaps dude, he received man. a notification from headquarters that reinforcements will soon arrive, but he retreated all the same. But the other agents continued the fight. But suddenly the machine gunner's drill man was wounded and POV the cameraman immediately ran to the rescue and tried to take the drill man further from the first line. But since no one else was operating the machine gun, the other agents began to die. And a oh, powerful God, explosion man. occurred. This but is a powerful scene. Up. He took up his weapon again and is ready for battle. But big black smoke appeared, this. and we see how all the toilets scattered to this the sides. This is wild. I like this part. The same toilet from the leaked frame appeared. Also, if you look at this place, we see mountains and auroras. Perhaps this base is somewhere in Alaska, and this base. Yeah, auroras. So that's like the aurora borealis. So that yeah, it's got to be somewhere far north, right? You can kind of see snow back there. Anyway, what is this thing? It right off the bat it looks like a toy, a kind of clownish type of toy. It does has it does have rockets on the top as well. And a beautiful yellow blow bow tie. Very secret. The same as the third base at Skibidi Toilets. Anyway, we see how the toilet began to approach and suddenly a head jumped out of it. Whoa. And this toilet turned out to be quite funny, but at the same time crazy. But it was not for nothing that ordinary toilets retreated and released this toilet. And through for a second, we will understand that he is not as cheerful. He is not as cheerful, guys. Usually Dom Studios takes characters from something else. What is this guy from? I don't recognize this character. Is this one? Is this an original character? Or is this or or is this one? I, I know Pennywise, Mimic, he, he had Momo. He had the twins from The Shining, I think. And then, but this guy, I don't recognize this one. Let me know in the comments below who, what, what this guy's from. Careful and kind as he seems. And one of the cameras applauded for a good show. But the good other job, agents buddy. told him like, are you a fool? We have a war going on, and this is our enemy. <laughs> and this mutant begins to laugh terribly, and some that, kind that of has appeared from his toilet, and they are designed to crush absolutely everything that gets in there. And this mutant begins to laugh madly and go on the Those attack. are like harvesters that madness. you see on uh, farm tractors. And the agents are trying tractors. to escape. And cameraman turns around and sees that this but mutant this is like already demolishing very everything. close and destroys everything in his path. But at the most opportune moment, I love how it's laughing maniacally as it's just destroying absolutely everything and chopping everybody up. We see that the Titan cameraman has finally appeared and this toilet has calmed down and he realized Look that someone huge is behind him and they meet their gazes. Look at Titan cameraman. 
all those weapons, man. He just keeps on coming back with more and more and more weapons. At this point, he's not going to be a cameraman anymore. He's going to be just a gunship. And the cameraman Titan gunship. to disembowel the mutant Titan with gun his man. machine guns and then treated him to his new gun. Look at that. And blood scattered everywhere. Thanks and the mutant I love this part. was defeated. Yes. Also in this frame, we can take a close look at cameraman's new and I, the I think this is probably the most goriest part I've seen in Skibbity Toilet yet. Was like, look at that. <laughs> the bro's defeated. head's missing. Also in this frame, we can his take tongue a close is just look at cameraman's out. new gun. In the leaked frame, we saw blue claws. Let's but go. they didn't show us this in the episode. But I think that this gun can generate different types of energy weapons. Now cameraman has an energy shield and claws and perhaps some other new types of weapons. But we will already see them in the following episodes. It is also important to note that the shot from this cannon was very powerful. Yeah. As it easily tore the head of even such a large mutant. Made and his I head also go think pop. that this... After the destruction of the mutant, we see the same dungeon from the leaked frame. Yeah. And also the drill scientists and some kind of cargo on the machine. What is the cargo? And as I said earlier, I think that this is the new head of the Titan drill. And this is the secret laboratory of the drill men. Oh, you think they're repairing the Titan drill men? In which again, they will create a Titan drill since his body was destroyed in that explosion That's right. in episode 14. He, but suddenly, he evacuated. our cameraman received a message from someone. And he nodded his head and flew somewhere. And a little later, he I will ejected. tell you where he flew. And suddenly the where map changed and we found fly ourselves in a different place. And we hear this circus cool. music and see a mannequin with a yellow hat and also a glass with pencils. And it the inscription, man. man on it. And someone took the hat and we are shown a creepy area, abandoned circus. And Wait, who was hanging there? And someone took the hat. Someone was hanging in the background. What is this? A there's, it looks like there's somebody impaled. In the background here. Creepy area, abandoned circus, and a strange character from the back. We also see here a lot of candy, a mannequin, and a ticket sign, which confirms that this is an abandoned circus. Yeah. And finally, we saw a skibidi scientist who happily walks around the circus, and he began to smile. And we see a creepy <laughs> monster. And oh my God, this is the creepy clown Pennywise oh, from the man. movie It. Look at him. <laughs> he looks good, just man. Just look how they copied him perfectly. And I'm not gonna lie, this model is as close as possible to the original, and it's crazy. Oh man, the teeth look so real. And with each new episode, I, I love never how creepy this thing is. At how well the Dom Studio and its team produce new episodes. We will soon no longer teeth. be able to distinguish animations from movies. And this is incredible. Even cockroaches. Also, press like button and leave a comment if you also liked this clown. We see that he has eight arms and a toy weapon in his hands. Why? Do, why does he look like he's holding Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog rings? That's kind of funny. Also a flower in the center and some strange guns or projectors on the sides and also large fireworks behind his back and insects crawl out of his mouth and it's terrifying and that, some kind of clown madness is happening all around. Up. We oh, see strange all the clowns. clowns in the toilets, a clown helicopter, and they all joyfully dance to circus music. Yo. And the scientist also rejoices with them, but suddenly teleports somewhere. And this is where the episode ends. Beautiful. This episode was insane and very interesting. There were funny moments as well as scary moments. And we were left with a lot of questions. And let's start with the cameraman, Titan. Where did he fly away? It seems to me that he has another secret mission. And maybe we will find out where he flew away in the next episode. Perhaps oh. the toilets also attacked one of the agent's base. And the cameraman also flew to their aid. Or perhaps he flew to this circus. Since someone from the Alliance spied on the Skibidi scientist. And now the agents know where is this place located. But it seems to me that this is unlikely. But who knows? But what is the Skibidi scientist up to? Judging by his satisfied face, it seems to me that these toilets are very strong. And especially the clown Pennywise. And soon there will be a very large- Oh yeah, look at the rockets strapped behind uh, Pennywise here. Those are massive rockets, man. He looks like he's got one, two, three, four lasers, plus these very large lenses as well. We also got water gun, okay. We got two hammers. Look like some. Looks like they're made of plastic. And we got two air blowers, or what do you call those? Party party horns. And he's riding on four m mechanical legs. He's got he's got a quite a bit of weapons. Not gonna lie. Large scale battle involving these toilets and some other new types of mutants. And perhaps in the next episode we will see this battle, since we know that toilets can teleport. They can end up anywhere. And perhaps the agents already suspect something and have given an order to cameraman to return to the clockmen or TV men base. Yes. It seems to me that perhaps we will see the TV men base and the toilets will attack it. Next Since episode is going to be even better. Who are repairing the it keeps on getting better and better, Dom Studios. 12, TV Titan teleported the clock Titan to his base 
and now it is being repaired. And perhaps the toilets have found out where this base is. Yeah. And they will try to destroy the TV men's base and also the Clock Titan. Since TV Titan is now on a secret mission, and the speaker man is on Skibidi Toilet's base, and they sent a cameraman to protect the TV men base. But yep. these are just theories, and you shouldn't think that everything will happen like that. Never but know. It turns out very interesting. You never know. Well, in any case, we will find out everything in the new episode. But maybe they will show the continuation of episode 17. I feel like a, a leak cameraman and ISO toilet have like the most overarching story in this in this series, like the most lore, I think. I think the, the most information we're going to find out what's going on here is with these two. Because everyone is interested in what will happen to TV Woman The skibbity next. apocalypse. But as I said earlier in my analysis, I think that they will try to use her for their own purposes to find all such books. But time will tell everything. Be sure to press like button if you liked the analysis and subscribe to the channel. Elite Clockwoman out. Thank you, Elite Clockwoman. Appreciate it. Guys, there's our full episode. Um, I in highly enjoyed everything about this one. I thought the new design for uh, Titan Caraman was amazing. The new creepy toilets are so much fun and interesting to watch. Dom Studios hit it off again with another great episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and have a great night.